What's going on guys and welcome back to Mikey's Vlogs. Today I'm going to do a quick video showing you how to replace the center console's sliding roller door. And that's this thing right here. Usually for your center console, if you have a roller door that covers your cup holders, then this is how you're going to replace it. This is a very simple fix. So if for some reason your roller door is all scratched and you want to replace it, or maybe you just want to change the color of your roller door because you don't like the color that you currently have or if you want to remove it to fix it whatever the case may be this video is going to show you how to replace your sliding roller door so let's jump in the car and let's get this done all we need in order to get this job done is a trim removal tool and also a T20 screwdriver I'm just going to use a power tool because that's just what I like to use. All we need to do first is open this up. Okay, so we'll open it and take out this, put it all aside, and you're going to see a T20 Torx screw right there. We need to remove that first, so I'm going to remove that real quick. Like I said, you don't have to use a power tool. I just use it because I just think it's a little bit faster, but uh, certainly a hand tool will, do, will definitely suffice in this case. Okay, we'll set that aside. The next thing we need to do is remove everything out of the way if you have anything in the way here. This point here, here we have our roller door. I'm removing mine because if you look here closely, I scratched it all along here. All we need to do now is push this forward and lift it up, push it that way and then I lift it up. Okay, there we go. That's out. You can see these clips here. That's why you gotta slide it out that way because if you just try to pull it up, you're gonna snap these and you don't wanna do that. Same thing for when you go to put it back in. I'll show you anyway after. Set it aside. And then, that's all there is to it. Look how simple this is to remove now, guys. You slide it all the way to the front and you lift it up. Look at that. You see it coming out now? You just slide it on out and there you go that's that removed now now as you can see here i've got all these scratches on mine with our new one as you can see my old one kind of has that old plastic look to it and this one has a matte black feel i really don't mind that at all and if i really wanted to get it that color i could always like change the color of it or spray it whatever tickles your fancy all you got to do now is line these up on the edges and push it on back look at that look how easily that slides in guys and then make sure you test it to make sure that it slides back down at first it's going to be a bit stiff because it is the first time you are installing it but uh rest assured that after a while it will get used to the way it slides back and uh it will become just like normal that's how you replace your roller door. Now, while we're here, I want to show you guys again that I removed all of this. I no longer have the phone cradle. I took that out completely. I really didn't see the point in having it anymore. And uh, while I have this, I'm also going to show you how to add carbon fiber um, adhesive stick-ons to your steering wheel. We may as well do that while we're in the car. Just to give it a little bit more carbon fiber, you know, just to make it look a little bit nicer. Now all we have to do is replace our trim by sliding it in first. Remember, you have to slide it in first and get these clips in first like so. And then you can push it towards the back and push it down. And then clip it, make sure it clips all the way around. Now we can get our screw. So we just grab our T20 screw now and we'll just put that straight back in there. That's back in now, and we just have replaced everything, put everything back where it was, and look at that. A brand new sliding door for your W204. And that's it, guys. Now, we're going to quickly install these carbon fiber stickers for your uh, steering wheel logo, just to give it a little bit more of a, a carbon fiber touch. These were very cheap, so I figured why not. Um, I'll definitely leave a link in the description below for this and also this. Um, they are very cheap. This is, I think this was only about $16 shipped. Um, it isn't an original part, but uh, honestly, I don't, I don't feel the need for an original part when an aftermarket part does just as well. Now, we're going to install this, so uh, we'll jump in the driver's seat. We'll get situated to install these. 
Okay, so I've just installed one. I'm going to do the others now. I'm just going to clean the surface with some iso alcohol. Make sure you clean the entire surface so you can get a very good bond. That's the point of iso alcohol. Whenever you use any sort of adhesive for any type of material, especially stuff like leather, plastic, you always want to make sure that you clean the surface with some iso alcohol first, okay? Isopropyl alcohol, and then it will allow you to get a really good bond between your adhesive and the surface especially when you've got like these uh, grooves throughout the surface you want to make sure that whatever part sticks to it gets a very good bond all I do is line them up line up the uh, the points because they're all the same size you only have to worry about lining up like the corners and then they should fit in very well that looks pretty good and now I'm just going to stick it down just hold it there for like you know a minute or so so it stays so it, you know you know you're getting a good adhesion really good bond just to guarantee that the adhesive on the back of these carbon fiber stickers bond very well to the surface of the leather see how I just touched it just then you do not want to do that your hands have contaminants on them as you can see here if you do touch the surface after cleaning it with some iso alcohol that's going to be the reason why your sticker will just fall straight off again because you have now contaminated the surface that's why it's so important that once you clean it with iso alcohol that you do not touch the surface nor do you allow dust or any sort of particles to touch the surface you want to make sure you do this quick and smart that's two in now now for the last one we'll line up this corner and the top Look at that, perfect, it slides right in. Okay. Perfect, that looks really nice guys. I mean, I know it's just adhesive sticker, but just that little bit is going to give your car that sportier feel. You know, I wanted to really match the carbon fiber here as well. Make sure you hold them all in now. Press them all, each spot, press them in. You do want to hold this in for like a minute or two that way you know you're getting the best uh, bond possible that looks really good guys it's all flush now just to get my fingerprints off it i'm going to spray some iso alcohol on there and just wipe it off clean this surface as well iso alcohol now i'm also just going to show you guys another uh, carbon fiber area that I put stickers on if you have followed me before on YouTube you know that I've already done all this stuff as you can see here I have the carbon fiber vent stickers and also the one on top of the dash as well for the side windows and when I saw these I had to have them. I just think it looks so much better than the matte silver ones originally I only had these parts on because it also came with this surround here as you can see it's separate uh, I decided to put it on as well just because it had the uh, German stickers, the German flag on it. So I figured why not, I'll just put it around it and see how it looks. And then I like the way it looks, so uh, yeah, I decided to leave it on. Now for these adhesive stickers here, the ones that cover the air vents, these ones here, you can get them with the uh, German sticker. And also for the air vents as well, up top on the dash here, you can get the ones with the German flag as well. I also put the German flag in there as well. It was just a sticker that they gave me along the uh, instrument cluster. And then I also put them on the uh, center vent as well. You can also get these for the bottom half as well. It all depends on your taste and your style, as you can see over here as well. Okay. And then I've got the Burmester covers there. But because they said Burmista in that area there, I put Harman Kardon there instead. I'll show you the driver's side. Okay, so under the Harman Kardon sticker there, it had Burmista. I stuck Harman Kardon there instead. And I did the same thing for the uh, front speakers. And then I've also got the uh, matte silver buttons. And then I've got this little cool Mercedes-Benz logo inside my, my door handle. And then of course I've got the matte silver door pins for all four doors. That's my interior, and I've also got the carbon fiber up here. There. It just sticks over the top of it, all the way underneath. 
to there. I've got the matte silver handbrake release. My whole car has the matte silver and carbon fiber theme throughout. I also have the matte silver glove box handle and also the matte silver window switches for all four doors. And I've also got the matte silver lumbar support button cover and I bought the heavy duty weather mats and then I just put the matte silver Mercedes-Benz symbol on there and I also put the uh, footrest that is my car I've also got the carbon fiber door hinge cover and the carbon fiber seat belt adjuster cover so you know as you can imagine there is quite a lot you can get for your car it's just it just depends on your taste and uh, what you want for your car there you have it guys, how to replace the center console's sliding roller door cover that covers your cup holders. And also how to apply the carbon fiber stickers that fill out your steering wheel's Mercedes-Benz logo. I wanted to show you guys some of the other carbon fiber adhesives that I have in my car. So you know, you basically get an idea of some of the stuff you can buy for your W204. And you know, it's absolutely amazing some of the the things that they have come out with for the W204 and that's also why I wanted to do this video I was really amazed at how much you can do to a W204 in order to personalize it to your liking and make it unique there's just so much that you can do to a W204 so I hope you found this video helpful and if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and as always don't forget to like share comment subscribe ring that notification bell in order to keep up with the uploads until next time guys, this is Mike with Mikey's Vlogs, signing off. Bye for now.